In this lesson, I'll show you two more examples on how to test for convergence using the Cauchy ratio test with infinite series. This is part two. As discussed in part one, the ratio test states that if the limit as n approaches infinity is less than one, this series converges. If it is greater than one, it diverges. And if it's equal to one, the test fails to give conclusive information. The question reads, what does the ratio test say about the convergence or divergence of the following series? We have seven to the power of n over n factorial. This exclamation mark is factorial and what it tells us, let's say we have six factorial. This is the same thing as saying six times five times four all the way to times one. If we have, let's say, four factorial over three factorial, that's the same thing as saying four times three times two times one. And at the bottom we have three times two times one. And these factors would cancel out, leaving you with four. So keep that in mind for this. According to the test, we have to take the limit as n approaches infinity, where our series has these n values plus one. So we'll do that. The limit as n approaches infinity, where these n's are replaced with n plus one, this one is replaced with n plus one factorial. And what we do is divide this by the series itself. Let's go ahead and algebraically manipulate the following. Remember that when you divide two fractions, you flip the second fraction and multiply instead. So we have the limit in absolutes of 7n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial, that doesn't change, times n factorial at the top and 7n at the bottom. Remember the laws of exponents, the quotient rule. If the base is the same, you can subtract the exponents. So I'm going to subtract n plus 1 for this base of 7 with n. n minus n is equal to 0, and we're left with 1. So we have 7 multiply 2. Now let's concentrate on n plus 1 factorial and this n factorial. n plus 1 factorial is the same thing as saying n plus 1 times n factorial. So if we expand this into the following expression, this n factorial will cancel out with this one, leaving us with, at the bottom, the expression n plus 1. Taking the limit of 7 over n plus 1, pretend we place a very large number into here. We have 7 over a very large number that will end up becoming 0. And since 0 is less than 1, according to the test, if you have a limit that's less than 1, this series converges. So I'll write down con for converge. Moving on to question number two. What does the ratio test say about the convergence divergence of the following series? This one's slightly more complicated because there are more factors in this series. But the steps remain the same. We'll take the limit as n approaches infinity for this where n's are replaced with plus one. Minus one to the power of n plus one times two bracket n plus one and this is factorial, divided by six bracket five, n plus one plus one, and I'll divide this by the original. Now let's clean this up as best as we can. This part right here can become five to the power of n plus two. Also, we have two fractions that are being divided, so I can change this to multiplication and flip this. I've gone ahead and rewritten the expression the way I want. Here we have 2n plus 1 factorial. So I'm going to expand that where I end up with 2n plus 2. And 2n plus 2 has this factorial. So if we expand 2n plus 2, we'll end up with 2n plus 2 factorial is the same thing as 2n plus 2 times 2n plus 1 times 2n factorial. That's a good thing because this factor will cancel out with this factor. And now if we look at these two, we have the same base of negative one, therefore we can subtract the exponents by the exponent laws. If I subtract this from this, I'll end up with negative one to the power of one. So I'll write that underneath, negative one. 
we can stop worrying about that. At the top of our expression, we should have 2n plus 2 and 2n plus 1. The 6 will cancel out with this 6. And using the exponent laws for the 5, we have n plus 1 minus n plus 2. This gives us n plus 1 minus n minus 2. The n's cancel out. 1 plus negative 2 is negative 1. Therefore, we will put 5 to the power of negative 1 at the top or at the bottom as 5 to the power of 1. Now we have to take the limit as n approaches infinity. If I substitute a very large number to here and here, we won't be able to get a limit for this expression. This tells us that because our limit is infinity, this obviously is bigger than 1. And according to the test, if it's greater than 1, the series diverges. So I'll write down d i v. And so there you have it. Two more examples on how to test for convergence using the Cauchy ratio test with infinite series.